Hey DC Collectors, welcome to a brand new episode of the show. Today we're taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Batman Earth 11, otherwise known as the Drowned action figure from Batman Dark Knight's Metal. Now before we get into this review, if you will, hit that subscribe button and that like button. I sure would appreciate it. Now, let's dive into the figure. So here is the front of the package for this particular figure. Side of the package features that Dark Knight's Metal logo and the title of the figure. Back of the package features some awesome artwork of the Drowned as well as a few figures in this particular line. This side of the box just features a window look into the figure. Top of the box gives you that Dark Knight's Metal logo as well as a window into the top of the figure. Bottom of the box features the UPC in case you need that as well as all the legal jargon. Now that we've looked at this particular figure, let's open her up. Here is the Drowned out of the package and you may be asking yourself, why is this thing laying down? Well, I will show you why. Look at these little tiny feet and the way this figure is so wonky because of the way it was stuck in the package I'm gonna have to take some heat to this or something but this is almost an impossible thing to stand i just i can't find the right balance for it that I, I mean this is like the worst mcfarland figure as far as stance goes that i've she needs a flight stand. She, she definitely doesn't need this. But let's talk about the accessories first. She comes with this black disc base, this cool collectible card with some awesome artwork on it. Front, back gives you the bio. This awesome trident, which I am sure will probably be reused in an Aquaman somewhere down the line. So I, I'm going to have to hold her throughout this whole process because I have yet. I, I, I've played with this thing for about 10 minutes trying to get her to stand. I have yet to get her to stand. I, I don't know if I'm going to have to come up with some dynamic pose that you know only she can do just to get her to stand properly but it so far it's not happening but luckily I'm not using the flight stand from uh, Scarecrow so I can use that on this oh my god I just got it to stand I just got it to stand look at that holy cow I just got it to stand and now I have to pick it up to review it Ugh. all right so let's take a look at the paint job on this one man this thing is beautimous look at that the paint job is just excellent on here we're going to talk about the paint and the sculpt at the same time here lots of little textures on the coat here just like a, a gnarly hard leather uh, this is kind of a rubbery seaweed it's supposed to you know kind of look like seaweed so, and it does for the most part it does look like a seaweed type dress or, or skirt or whatever kind of all tattered and torn with seaweed uh, all all in it uh, I like the uh, just the, the overall textures of of everything it's really sculpted well the skin on, on her chest is really is it's really smooth compared to like the amulet right there which there is a bit of a paint issue with the amulet it's and you can't let me grab her tried it and I'll try to point it out best I can the top is okay but when you come around to the sides on the very sides right here they did not get all the way down with the gold and actually they kind of I guess I don't know how they do this but you can see on this side her chest is painted gold around this side and this side is sort of missing it so I guess they kind of painted too too much to the left when they were applying that which is kind of it sucks uh, here is a she's got some sort of pocket there it looks pretty cool love the texture on the boots it looks really really awesome again loving the hair man that that sculpted hair looks good I don't like the way it whooshes out here I don't like that I mean you don't have a pre-posed figure why do a pre-posed hairstyle or a cape you know let that stuff just fall down naturally but you know, I can't complain too much about it. I love the bat ears on this thing. They are awesome. The cow looks great. That eyepiece looks fantastic. Now, the only issue I have is the eyeball. Is there supposed to be a pupil in there? If there is, they did a pretty poor job of painting that, which is eh, Mars an otherwise pretty good looking uh, paint job and sculpt on this one. So let's look at the articulation. Her head, I'm sure, is on a ball joint, but you're not going to move it just because of all this hair right here. She can move about that much. That's it. Up, down, nothing. It's so thick and big and it comes down so far, you're not going to get much movement out of it at all. But she does have pretty good mobility from that, though. She does have bicep swivel. 
She has double jointed elbows, really cool. Her wrist are those McFarlane joints, which this looks to be a little bit smaller version of those joints. That, that ball joint is a little bit smaller than on some figures, which doesn't look as bad. Sometimes those things are so big and so gnarly, they just look horrible. Now I don't, you know, this is one piece, so I can't really see what sort of articulation she has under there. She is bending forward. She turned any at all. You can't really turn her much because I don't know what's in there and I don't want to break it. As far as her legs go, these pieces right here are going to keep her from doing too much of a split, but she does pr pretty good there. She can do pretty good like that too, which is pretty awesome. She doesn't have any sort of thigh swivel she does have double jointed knees as you can see there and of course the mcfarland ball joint and toe articulation so she can move pretty good now the only real problem with this figure is just standing she again you know i got lucky a while ago when i was trying to stand this thing but she is like super hard to stand and it's because look at the feet the feet are ridiculous. They they have the high heels there, but there's not enough there. There's really not enough there to to help her stand. She's really top heavy with her hair, so that kind of throws her off balance somewhat. I don't know. Maybe if you have if she had her trident in her hand, I don't know if that would help. And her trident does fit pretty. Well, I said it fits pretty good, but yeah, look at that. That's just. That's pathetic. Well, it holds right there, but depending on how you have it in there, it could hold and it might not hold. Still, nah, she's going to tip over. I'm wondering if I put her on this base, what will happen. I'm sure she'll stay for a little while on the base. Well, she's kind of already going to have to... Well, she stands pretty good with the base, so yeah, I can, I, I can definitely use that base. She's not tipping over forward or backward, so I can't really... um. Can't really say anything bad about that. She, the base fits, the whole pit fits nice and tight in that peg. So I'm really digging that. As far as is this a figure you should get? Well, I'm not so sold on it, especially because she can't stand really good. It's a very nice looking figure. Don't get me wrong, I love it. Looks great, but is it one you need to actually complete your collection? I'm gonna leave that one up to you to find out. And you tell me if you have this one in your collection, is it something that you? regret buying or is it something you're happy that you bought for $19.99? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I sure would love to uh, hear your thoughts on it. So if you like what I'm doing, hit that subscribe button and that like button. I sure would appreciate it. Also, you can find me on dccollectors.com each and every day, as well as on social media at DC Collectors. Until next time.